Hey everyone, today we are going to be drawing a house in JavaScript. And to do this, we'll be using Code Guppy. So for those of you who have not watched the previous video in this series, please make sure to do that because I go over the Code Guppy platform. Code Guppy is actually a coding platform for kids. So if you watch that video, you'll be able to get comfortable with the website itself. You know where everything is located and exactly how they work. But for those of you who have already watched that video, please stay tuned to the end of this video and follow along with me in typing the code so you can draw an awesome house in JavaScript. Now let's get coding. A thing we know. Hey everyone, and welcome back to NP Station. So today we are going to be drawing a house in JavaScript using Code Guppy. So here you can see this is our final output of this project. We have our house, a little character, a tree, some clouds, and the sun. So we're going to be coding all of this in JavaScript. Now let's get coding. All right, so first you're going to want to start with a blank file, which I did show you guys how to do in the previous video in this playlist. So make sure to check that video out. But here I have a blank file open and I've already um, named it house. So now let's start typing in the code. So the first thing we are going to want to do is just create a background for our picture. So we actually have a function called background and in the parentheses here we're going to be needing three values and these three values are going to stand for rgb so rgb stands for red green and blue so in these three values you're going to put how much of that certain color you want for red green and blue so i'm going to go ahead and put these three values 219 255 and 255 so 255 is actually the maximum value for each of these numbers or values. So for one, we have 219, which is how much red is going to be in the uh, background. And then we have a maximum of green and maximum of blue. So how about we just put that um, semicolon at the end of the line, and then we'll go ahead and run this code. So you can see here that it opened up this uh, output and it has a bluish uh, color for the background. So that looks great. Now let's move on to actually, you know, drawing our house. So the first thing we're going to start off with is the roof. So let's go ahead and put in our triangle function since the roof is going to be a triangle shape. So here we're actually going to have six different values. So let me just go ahead and type those out x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. And I believe that is it. So you can see here that these are the different coordinates for each of the uh, three points of our triangle. So you know the triangle has three points. So this x1 here will be the first point um, on the x-axis. And this will be the first point on the y-axis. So same thing goes on for the other two points. So let's go ahead and fill in these values. So I already have the values here on my other screen just to make it a little easier and um, so that I put in it, put in the correct code. So that our next value will be 28. So we have 228. I'll just go ahead and take these out, make it a little bit easier. Now after that, we'll have 350 as a second x-axis point, 150 for the y-axis, and then a final point, let me correct that, 350, 150, our final point will be 50 on the x-axis and 150 on the y-axis. So there we go, and make sure to end it with a semicolon. And let's go ahead and run this and see how the placement looks like. So there we go. You can see that we have a triangle placed on our screen. That looks great. Now something else we can add is a fill color. So we have our function called fill. And here we're again going to use those three different values RGB to create that certain color we would like. So I'm going to go ahead and put in 174, 180, and 214. And that semicolon. So make sure um, to run these run the code after each line of code you put in just to make sure that your code is working. So you can see here that it has added that fill color. Now something I want to tell you guys 
please feel free to add in any colors you would like you don't have to write in the same code that i am writing here you can change your background color the fill color for the triangle and even the placement and shape of your triangle itself so next thing i'm going to move on to is like the main part of the house so here um we're actually going to use the rectangle function not the square because the square means it has to be you know four equal sides the rectangle gives us a little bit of space to move around the height and width of the the shape so here we're going to need four different va values it's going to be the x and y the height and the width so those are the diff are the four different values we're putting in our rectangle function now the x and y stands for the x coordinate for the upper left corner of a rectangle and this is the y coordinate of the upper left corner of the rectangle and this is just the height and width so let's go ahead and fill in these values we're going to do 60 for the x coordinate 150 for the y coordinate 280 for the height and we'll do 207 for the width so now let's run this and see what happens. So there we go. Our rectangle is placed right under our triangle in the perfect position. But you can see that it is the same fill color as our triangle. So whatever fill color is like first um, on in the code, it's going to assign that fill color to every single other shape you put in, unless you change it later on in the code. So how about we go ahead and do that right now? We'll add in that fill function and here, Let's go ahead and put in the maximum value for each of our RGB values, so which is 255. Now if you run this, you can see that it is now white. So now you know that if you put in the maximum for each three values, you get white. All right, so now we're done with the house uh, and the roof. Now let's go ahead and put in the little details for the house. So the first thing, let's do the door. That is also gonna be the um, using the rectangle function. Here, again, we'll have those four values, 180 for the X coordinate, we'll have 280 for the Y coordinate. Again, that's the upper left corner placement. And then we have 40 height and 77 width. Now, something I also want to point out is you can see that I forgot to put in a semicolon here. But Code Guppy reminds you that you forgot the semicolon by putting this little icon right before that uh, code right before that line of code and it, if you hover over if you hover your mouse over it it says missing semicolon so i thought that's pretty cool it reminds you what you're missing in your code so now that i added that semicolon let's run this and see if it's correct and there we go that is a perfect shape for the door now let's put in that fill color so let's put in that fill function and here we'll have zero for red 200 for green and 200 for blue if you run this, you can see that it adds in a little turquoise color to our door. So I think that's perfect for my house. Again, please feel free to add in anything different for your code. This is just what I'm creating on mine, on my window. Now, speaking of windows, let's add in the two windows for our house. So the, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use our, a different function that we haven't used yet, which is the square. So here, our square needs three different um, values in the parentheses. We have 100 for the first one. We're gonna add in 200, and then it's gonna be small anyway, so we'll do 40. So let me just explain these values. It's the same as the rectangle. So upper left corner, X coordinate, upper left corner, Y coordinate. And since the squares have four equal sides all we need is the length of one side of the square so now if we run this you can see that it adds in our square right over here now that is perfect let's go ahead add in another one of these so i can just copy and paste this code right over here and then we'll just change this around the values so we'll have 260 and then instead of 200 we'll add in um, actually, it will stay the same, 200, since uh, the Y coordinate, it has to be aligned. And so will 40, because we don't want two different um, shapes for our window. 
now if you see we can run this and there we go we have our two windows on our house now if you want um, you can s I'm going to keep this fill color the same as the doors and the windows but for how the visual purposes for how your code looks you can still just go ahead and add in that same fill uh, line here just to make it look a little bit better so it's a little more clear when you're just reading the code and you can see here that I've forgotten to put the semicolons so it adds in this icon let me just go ahead and do that for the square functions and there we go now we're done with our house so great job now let's go ahead and add in those other different details that we did that I showed you in the beginning of this video so let's start off with the Sun so for the Sun we're gonna use our circle function and here we're gonna have three different values 500 100 and we'll have 50 as well don't forget that semicolon if you run this you can see that we have a Sun but that doesn't look like the right color to me so let's go ahead and change this so in the parentheses here we'll add in 255 since we want a little bit more of red and in for our for our Sun and then we'll also add a little um, bit of green and we'll put in zero for blue we don't want any blue in our in this color so let's see if that color is okay and there we go that's something that is close to what the Sun's color is so I'm gonna keep that there now let's go ahead and add in some other really cool things that code guppy gives us here you can see on this sidebar it has home and if you hover over it will tell you what each of the buttons mean or say and it says quick hints we also have backgrounds sprites and sounds so sounds is really cool as well make sure to go ahead and play around with all of these different options here but what I'm gonna click on first is sprites so here I'm gonna go ahead or first you can see that there are so many different characters that you can choose and then you have a lot more subtopics here that you can choose as well which will give you these different items so you see there's a dinosaur and you can select anything I think I'm gonna go ahead with the adventure girl so if you click on this uh, character you can see here that it comes up with a code for this adventure girl so you can either just click on that line of code and it will say copied it will actually copy that text or what you can do is drag and drop so you see I'm dra dragging this and I can drop it anywhere on the screen and there you go that line of code is now in my code window so let's go ahead and just run this and see where it um, appears on our screen so you can see that looks really big I don't think she'll be able to even fit through our door in the house so let's just go ahead and play around with the size so here um, 400 and 300 that can remain we'll just make this 0 0.5 a little smaller since that is the size of this of the character and that looks much better now let's go back to where we were at the sprites and here you can see there are other topics instead of characters we can also choose the decor we have items sets and tiles so let's go on this one and here let's add in maybe let's see we have a lot of different options how about this cloud so again click on it it will come with the code here I've copied it I can also drag and drop I put it right under that sprite and how about we put in two all right now I can exit this and here let me just change or run the code first so you can see here that they're the two clouds are actually placed on the same position so you can see that it looks like there's only one but we want to change that position so let's go ahead and do that for the first one we'll keep that X coordinate the same and we'll change the Y coordinate to 100 <coughs> And then for the second cloud, we'll do 650 for the X coordinate and we'll do 80 for the Y coordinate. And we'll actually make these clouds a little bit bigger by putting 0 0.7 instead of 0 0.5. Now, if we run this code, you can see we have two clouds here right near the sun. That looks perfect. Now, let's go ahead, just add in a little bit more to our picture here. Let's see. Oh, this tree, we can add that in. So I'll just drag and drop. Let's exit this. And let's see how it looks like. 
So we need to change this position as well. So let's go ahead and change the X coordinate to 650. Or how about we'll do a little less, 630. Here just um, we'll make that 250. And then we'll make this tree a little bit smaller, 0 0.4. Hopefully this is good, and there we go! We have a perfect placement for our tree as well. So guess what guys, you have actually coded an amazing picture in JavaScript using code Guppy. So great job, this is all that for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to NP Station. But that's all for today, keep reading, keep coding, and stay safe.